We have completed the month of Ramadan and we are now in the second Jum'ah post Ramadan. Last week we talked about how we maintain a habit and a routine of that which we picked up in Ramadan. And this week we will look at how easy Allah has made this deen and how we also accept and comprehend this ease without making it too difficult and too hard on ourselves. Talking about Ramadan, in the verses of the Quran where Allah talks about Ramadan being obligatory and fasting being obligatory, Allah says, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرَ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرَ That Allah wishes ease and Allah does not want difficulty upon ourselves. So first of all, Allah talks about a difficult topic which we all may struggle with, which is fasting. Fasting by day, fasting by daylight hours. For those of you who are fasting in the days of Shawwal, you'll find that it's even difficult more than Ramadan. In Ramadan, everybody's fasting. In Shawwal, everybody might not be fasting. So it's even more difficult. So Allah talks about the month of Ramadan and Allah obligates fasting. And then Allah says, يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ بِكُمُ الْيُسْرِ وَلَا يُرِيدُ بِكُمُ الْعُسْرِ that he, does, he wants ease for you and does not want difficulty. How can it be that Allah expects us to be hungry and to leave food and drink and conjugal relations and then Allah expects it to be easy? For us to understand this, we need to understand it from a Muslim mindset. We have to understand it from a Mu'min mindset. We have to understand it from a mindset of those people who enter into Islam completely. As Allah says, Addressing the believers, not addressing anyone, not ayyuhal nas, ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu dukhulu fis silmi kaafa, wa la tattabi'u khutuwati shaytan. Addressing the sahaba and more so the general Muslims, Allah advocates that enter into Islam completely. Not like the other nations that you choose and you pick. Afa tu'minuna bi ba'd al-kitab wa takfuruna bi ba'd. That you take parts and you leave parts, accept parts and leave parts, no. As Muslims we accept completely. And then Allah says that do not footst- or follow in the footsteps of shaitan because shaitan will make this dunya, this opportunity of doing everything that your ego wants and your nafs wants very beautiful, very gl- glitter, razzmatazz, very um, attractive. However, as Muslims, we circulate our life with the commandments of Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wasallam. People argue. But Islam is constraint. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, fellow Muslim brothers and sisters, Islam, if you practice Islam properly, if you accept Islam to be the window to your world, the framework to your life, then wallahi, Islam is not constraining. Islam is liberating. Islam is liberating. For the difficulties that we experience in the dunya, the difficulties of financial challenges, the difficulties of family, the difficulties of society, the difficulty of our own understanding of this world. When you bring Islam into the context, Allah eases everything and Allah brings everything in ease. 